having somewhere to go is a blessing having someone to love is a family having both is truly a blessing but there are many in this world without either one or both of them and it is to these destitute and the poorest of the poor that god has appeared in the form of white doves an ngo in mangalore founded 21 years ago by mrs corine raskina white doves was born with a mission to provide selfless care and offer a dignified life to the least the last and the lost souls of the society i was reading the bible when i came across the word what a, how can you say you love god whom you cannot see you can't love your neighbor whom you can see that kept me thinking like you know what should i if i have to say i love god i got to do something for his people the trust operates two rehabilitation homes one for women and children at matadakani mangaluru and the other for men at jail road mangaluru presently both these homes take care of 126 male and female inmates farzana roshan and appu were picked up from the streets in a miserable condition with the right blend of medical care and emotional support provided by the white doves happiness is now a part of the lives of these once lost souls the inmates are now a family and the children have a loving home where their education and all round development is taken care in its entirety many mentally derailed and lost on street are rescued and reunited with their families by the trust every day since 17 years the white doves have been feeding over 100 hungry mouths on the streets of mangaluru with one aim that no one should go to bed hungry Music and compassion can create wonders. Very soon, a dedicated bunch of music enthusiasts joined hands with Mrs. Corine, a celebrated singer herself, to form the White Doves Choir and started raising funds for the trust. Young and old came together under the banner of white doves to perform at music concerts and plays and help raise funds that enabled the trust to expand its activities for the benefit of society today white doves is all set to build a first of its kind 200 bed destitute psychiatric nursing home in mangaluru that is expected to be completed by 2017 Just six years ago, I was diagnosed with third stage cancer, and I was on my deathbed um, because of cancer and had acute hepatitis B. I was only given a couple of hours to live, but by the grace of God and the prayers of these people, I survived and came out of a coma that I was in for eight days, and um, I was healed of hepatitis B and cancer. Then I realized now my time may come up any time. So only then I realized that you know. I may have to go any day soon, so I must prepare something for these people. So I approached my bishop, and he gave me 49 cents. He donated 49 cents of land here in Manglo. I look forward to the day that you know they can have a nice place to stay with all the comforts. In the last 21 years, I've been doing this work. I have never asked anybody for money. I've always asked only my God. to give me whatever i need to look after these people till today as on record i have not asked for any charity but it's time now that i have to go with a begging bowl or ask people 
help me let's make this dream a reality so that our brothers and sisters will have a comfortable place come it's time to heal the world make it a better place and make a difference in someone's life experience the joy of giving and help the helpless become a white dove